Hey everyone, welcome back to the Cold Calm Daily Minute Podcast. I'm Jeff. And I'm Taya. Okay, we're going to jump into another topic mm. that's discussed at a Cold Calm near you. What's our topic today, Taya? We are talking about goals. Goals. Oh. Goals. <sighs> not not, so, not sports goals, but yeah. actually like, yeah, like... Life goals. Life goals. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Things you want to accomplish. Ooh. And Big our topic. first question mm. is... What was your biggest resolution of this year, 2023? 23? Yeah. So for this year, the, the year hasn't like, there's still a lot of time left, right? Yeah. <laughs> I see, I do have resolutions always. I don't mm. necessarily think it's about like the numbers and stuff like that always. Because mm. in the end, it's more about Grow, you never really know where the the year goes anyways yeah like what 2020 i my resolution was not to stay in because <laughs> of covid the entire time so i think you should be kind of very loose with your resolutions mm. always like give them room for for the v- v- variables that, variables like, is that the word yeah. that come into your life yeah I personally mm, don't dream big. Just don't have big resolutions. I do dream big, reasonable. but like not like. But like have reasonable resolutions yeah. that things that you can accomplish. You know you can Stuff accomplish. You can, yeah. Yeah. They can grab. Uh, I don't know. I have a lot, but it's like. Yeah. For me, my resolution that I accomplished, like I did want to lose weight. Haven't done it. I, I did do want to do that too. Like you know. I do. I did want to be more productive. I'm not. Yeah. Same. Um, <laughs> one thing I did accomplish is actually I've been more positive mm. and outgoing. So like right. enjoying enjoying the moment because you know, 2020, 21, 22, pandemic stuck mm. inside. Now 2023. Like going now, like it, I there's like people are free once again, mm. so like enjoy the moment. Me too, but I think that's just in general mm-hmm. more of a life process, right? That you kind of have to learn step by step, and like it's, right. it's hard to just well, la- mm. like during the pandemic and even before, like I mm. I was very I thought very negative, mm. and that really reflected on my mood and even my mm. outlook. But now, like, I'm thinking more positive. So now, like, I could see, like, I, I'm being more positive. So my life has become more positive, more energetic. Right. And I could see it more. I think in general with, like, New Year's resolutions, you shouldn't have to wait for, like, a specific day to right. do stuff finally. That's true, too. Like, just start doing it right now. Yeah. When you think, I want to be more positive, don't think, I want to be more positive yeah. in 2023. Just do the change right now, right. I, think. I think. Yeah, it's people, mm. like, going, oh, I'm going to quit drinking mm. tomorrow. Exactly. Do you Just want do, to do it right num- now. <laughs> <sighs> it's so hard. Uh, it do you want to read number two? Uh, which one is more important to you, achieving your goal itself or the process? Again, I think from what I said already, it's honestly life is about the process in general. Oh. Like, I think goals are very, obviously kind of have to, something to like look forward to, like something that... Mm where you see yourself in like 10 years what Uh, would you like to be but like it could also be completely different but like the kind of person that you want to be the kind of person the kind of life that we would like to have Mm -hmm. and then like step by step kind of become that person yeah but you have to enjoy it literally right. enjoy the process like yeah because like, life is always just that moment right now you do have a point there mm-hmm. yes like for a resolution the process is something mm-hmm. it's not just you know a, a start and then you have an end right but you know a goal mm-hmm. i i do love uh accomplishing a goal because that's yeah. all that also brings like the biggest happiness and you could look mm-hmm. back and like when you're like what i ha- i was there and now i'm mm-hmm. here and i feel so much better definitely but then it's also like if you don't achieve it you're always going to be kind of sad about it yeah. and depressed so well then you just go to the next open. but once yeah. you achieve it then you have a new you just set a new goal right. and a new goal uh number three <gasps> what do you want to accomplish next year Ooh, a lot mm-hmm. but again more than like points like i want to do this and this and mm-hmm. this because also like when you get to a goal mm-hmm I have a lot of goals, but like when you get to the goal, I always kind of feel like, what if I get to that goal and I'm still not happy? Right. Which I always feel like it might happen. So it's 
it really is about ha- appreciating the moment that you're in right now mm. and being happy in that moment right now. Mm-hmm. Because all we ever really have is the present moment. Mm-hmm. If you think about it, your mm-hmm. life is never more than just this present moment right now. Right. So if you don't know how to be happy in this present moment, you're never really going to be happy even once you achieve your goals. <laughs> uh, that's deep. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's, we're still early in this year, so I'm not really thinking about my mm. goals for next year. Um, but in a, in a sense, I don't want to think about it because mm. then, like, I like going okay. Th- now I have to think of the process and like all these mm. steps and figure it out. And I just I I'm just too lazy or mm. like too scared to think about accomplishing a new goal for next year. Right. I'm more just doing the process of improving myself. And exactly, I think it's always about yeah, yeah, just yeah. and striving like striving to be a better. Yeah. Version of yourself. And like you mm-hmm. touched on too, like given the, an, a deadline to something, mm-hmm. you're not, it's like, well, why don't you just do it tomorrow? Right. Why are you saying next <gasps> year, just do it tomorrow? Having a deadline for things has just never worked for me. Mm-hmm. Or like a start point. Yeah. So I try to just live very freely in the mm-hmm. moment mm-hmm. because I feel like deadlines kind of just like very much box me in right yeah and like, that's always given me kind of like anxiety so yeah so i am yeah. like i i do have goals and mm-hmm. now i i like going i don't want to say it next year so i'm already jump i'm like going, why why am i not doing it now so yeah. i'm slowly slowly mm-hmm. i'm pushing myself to get to those things that i want to do next year to right. start them earlier like i have goals because like because I do acting, I do uh-huh. singing, my own music. I, I'm a songwriter for like mm-hmm. the K-pop market too. So I have specific goals for mm-hmm. each of those like sectors and mm-hmm. like my personal life too and stuff mm-hmm. like that. But mm-hmm. in the end, it's like I never really know where my life is going anyways. Yep. Like I could ac- achieve more goals and like one, like I could achieve all my acting goals a lot, mm-hmm. a lot there, but then nothing really moves forward maybe in like in the music section right. or like in my personal life. So it's mm-hmm. like I never, I never really know where exactly my life is going (laughs) right yeah i can see what you're saying yeah yeah Yeah. um do you want to read number four yes do you think your mbti ooh, specifically j or p part have an impact on whether you achieve your goals (sighs) what does the j and the p stand for (gasps) i'm not up to date on this stuff oh my god so i know way too much about mbti i could talk to you guys about mbti for like two hours literally um j or p i mean it's perceiving or judging not oh. judging as in like judgmental but yeah. it's perception or in judge, the way yeah, that like, most people see mbti with just yeah. the 16 types j and p like p is more like you're like lazier a, not lazier but like, like un, more unorganized okay like j types are very like organized with okay their, you know it's not and necessarily or, true it depends on your cognitive functions okay but i'm an enfp yeah I am very unorganized. Uh, I would say I'm very unorganized as well. I tend to procrastinate a lot too. You're not unorganized. You have a good memory and everything too. Oh, well, I just, well, I don't know how to achieve things. Mm. I I feel like every goal that I I, I do, it's like there's no instructions to it. There's no Mm. blueprints. So I don't know how to achieve these goals. Mm. I have goals, but I don't know how to fucking achieve them. Mm. So I, I feel very unorganized. I too. think it's always having to go like very step by step. Yeah. You can't and my, be thinking of like a big goal. Yeah, and my ahead. and my house is also very cluttered. Mm. So um, so I would say I'm unorganized. What's your MBTI? Do you know? No. Uh, no. Like I don't even, like some days I'm more introverted than extroverted too. Mm. But a lot of like as an ENFP, we're very like ambivert too. Oh. Or more of the introverted extroverts. So. Mm. Well, uh, I don't know any of this. <laughs> Thank you for t- <laughs> for educating me. Uh, I could talk about this for a long time. <laughs> number five. Mm. Do you feel stressed out about your goals? I used to be, and that's always kind of what put a lot of yeah, like pressure and anxiety on me. Mm-hmm. And now that i've changed my kind of like outlook on everything Mm -hmm. on life about you know you can have these goals but like life is not over if you don't achieve like one goal your goals can change along the way too okay because i always had when i was little i always wanted to move to la and like be an actress there and do this and that Mm -hmm. and but like in the end it's not really that wasn't really the like i felt very pressured about that Mm -hmm. the whole like like artist visa and everything (laughs) and it gave me a lot of anxiety but like in the end it wasn't really ever like the 
end goal to every anything it was kind of just like the starting point to what i actually want to do with my life mm-hmm. which is like live that kind of like mm-hmm. freely doing all these different things mm-hmm. but i always thought that i had to achieve that in order to do that mm-hmm. so recently like i'm just trying to go with the flow see what life throws that's at a me. good that's yeah. a good motto just go with the mm-hmm. flow um my goals my yeah in the past my goals give me stress but you know every day that i do something towards that goal mm-hmm. the process i know i'm getting closer to it and i just have to keep that in mind if that makes sense right i think rather than stressing you out you should it should motivate you mm-hmm. those goals mm-hmm. um number six what mm-hmm. are your short-term goals and mm-hmm. your long-term goals short term so short term like two, in two weeks this month or long term in like this year six months next year short term i have a long 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 to-do list yeah (laughs) that always just keeps on getting longer like whenever i take off a couple boxes it just keeps getting longer (laughs) so Mm. my short-term goal is yeah to network more Mm. to keep Mm. networking i'm always just network so like my short term was like going, okay, I have to meet up with this person and to mm. talk about this subject so we can work together in the future. Right, right, um, right. My long term goal, I, I'd love to uh, move once uh, I become more comfortable and more popular as an entertainer mm. to possibly move to the States, go to New York. Ooh, oh, fun. Yeah. <gasps> well, I, I just moved to Korea not too long ago, so I'm very much kind of like still in the like settling down yeah. phase of like not really knowing where i'm going with oh. stuff so it's for me right now it's like Ooh, it seems goals, like you're very like, comfortable yeah yeah um like again short term i have a lot of like i need to like record this song i need to <laughs> send in this song blah, mm-hmm. blah 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 and long term honestly one year is not even that long term yeah. like i try to think of like 10 years like where would i want to oh. see myself what kind of person would i want to be and i try right. to like become that person yeah. that's how i yeah, yeah see it uh, do you want to read number seven? Yes. What's holding you back from achieving your goal? <sighs> I do think a lot of times stuff, a lot of times what keeps me from achieving some things that I would like to achieve is mm. that I do procrastinate a lot. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I am very much kind of like self-sabotaging sometimes a bit. Yeah. Yeah. I feel the same. I feel the same. I procrastinate a lot mm-hmm. and I self-sabotage as well as like uh like the effort like i if i'm gonna mm. p- apply myself to something i want it done properly and like i'm just like yeah. a, and then seeing like once i have the my goal in a bigger picture and see how much i need right, to accomplish right, right. then i just just back down from it because mm. like that's too much to do in one time exactly. i don't have I don't have the energy, the the mm. mental capacity to do right. figure out everything right now. That's why I think it's better to go step by step. That's what I'm doing now. Steps. Yeah, ste- baby yeah. steps. Yeah, towards something. Um, number yeah. eight. Uh, what changes will you need to make to achieve your potential goal? Hmm. See, a lot of people have always told me I should kind of focus on one thing. Mm-hmm. But I know that that's not really what I want to do Mm -hmm. in life Mm -hmm. because I need kind of all these different things. Mm -hmm. So (laughs) I don't know about that. (sighs) I will try to be more productive, but it's always like, how do I do that? (laughs) I think I should probably stay off my phone a bit more. That would probably help me a lot. Dude, Um, yeah, yeah, definitely. But then at the same time, as an entertainment, as an entertainer, you kind of need social media a lot of times too. Yeah, dude. Yeah. But. Uh, what's holding me back i would say yeah my procrastination Mm. um you know trying to take a big step when a little a few little steps Mm. would would be much better right yeah Yeah, (gasps) my phone my phone confidence (laughs) Uh, a lot of stuff that holds me back is confidence Mm. also a lot of times honestly you just gotta try things you yeah. just gotta do things it's people are so scared of even making that small first step yeah well, that's the thing the, mm. the unknown it's very exactly. scary yeah the unknown mm. but like you would never really be like i would never be where i am if i didn't just just hit up people and be like how, how did you get into this job how did you do this <laughs> like just talk to people just just do it just move to a different country like right yeah. i've always wanted to move to korea and then i was just like well just do it then just jump jump <laughs> like jump yeah jump into it uh, exactly <laughs> yeah you need those people you need those mm. people in your life to, to encourage you to take exactly. a chance sometimes and, that's got to be yourself too yeah 
I'm for it. Yeah. If, if other people tell you that you shouldn't, like, no, just do it. Well, this is even a good question. <laughs> jumping into mm, number nine, mm. who is your role model or who is the most successful person? Huh. I guess I have different role models for different things in my life. Right. Mm-hmm. Like, as a songwriter, obviously, I have some role models that are very like successful in the right. field. Mm -hmm. As an artist, too, a lot of different artists. But in the end, I'm my own role. Like, my my role model is myself in ten in ten years. I want to be that girl. I, I can just imagine your house is just has <laughs> mirrors on all the walls. Like, on you're the best. I'm a sh who's I'm the shining star. To, honestly, that's one of my that has been one of my resolutions too. To like you know, be more confident in myself. Yeah. Be a bit delusional. You gotta believe that whatever that whatever you want to achieve is possible for yourself. Yeah. yeah. You gotta just delusionally believe that that per that can totally be that person mm, good point yeah like i for me and I, then just be yeah. be do it become that person for me mm. I, I don't think i have yeah a, a mm. specific uh role model but i think there's like characteristics that i admire in mm. certain people too right. so like yeah you know, like my a lot of my friends like mm -hmm. i like how success like they're successful in their workplace they're able to right. achieve so much and like they're smart like oh, like mm -hmm. going, oh my god you're so smart mm -hmm. you're i'm an idiot compared to you you're and that's why and like my parents are my role model too because mm -hmm. they've achieved so much they work they busted their eyes raising me and my brother and sisters and then like as an entertainer there's like comedians mm -hmm. and actors i admire right. as well like there's different parts of yeah. different people's lives yeah. that kind of like the role models for yeah. you like same like but there's no there's no never going to be like one specific yeah. person that has like the exact same path as you that, i like, don't think yeah you shouldn't yeah. yeah you shouldn't like copy so try to copy someone's yeah you should do your own true. thing but you should also admire mm, different people exactly too. um do you want to read the last one what are your values and priorities um in life so related to goal i think actually just being more positive, actually, mm. like uh, making friends, trying not to, uh, you know, make people angry at me. Right. Be, be, I have people see me also very positive, outgoing, mm. you know, not not as like like a miserable person or mm. a sad or like just actually see for people to see the real me, I right. guess. I think for me too, priorities in life is definitely mm. just happiness being happy finding finding that happiness for myself right. and also being being kind of a good influence on everyone around yeah. me like again doing everything from a place of love coming from kindness to everyone i kind of want to be that person that like makes other people's lives better in a way too mm -hmm. like i always still think about that one girl when i was at a starbucks once mm -hmm. years ago crying and she like handed me a note that said like it's all gonna be okay, mm -hmm. and like I still think of her all these years later, and mm -hmm. I kind of want to be that kind of like influence yeah. into. If I can like give that kind of like positive influence to even strangers around right. me everywhere, that's good. Like I would love to at least leave the world a bit of a better place. Then yeah, that's good. That's you know? good. Yeah, which I, obviously that's a hard goal, but like, I'm gonna try to do that as well. Just try to be the best version of yourself. I'm gonna try to do that mm -hmm. as well. Um, but uh, that wraps up uh, the topic of goals. Uh, yes. I hope everyone enjoyed <laughs> it. Mm. Uh, if you have further questions about Colcom, you can visit them on their website at colcom.co.kr. Um, I've been Jeff. And Taya. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.